Hey everybody, Adam at XLaser here to give you a quick look at some of the changes that we've made in the advanced builder profile on Grand MA for Mercury. So we got a lot of feedback from lighting designers about what we should do to change the profile to make everything a bit better for their workflow. Let's go through a couple of those changes right now. So the first thing that people are gonna notice and probably the biggest thing is under the Mercury menu, we used to have an images tab where you would pull up your page and pattern and then it just had a list of a whole bunch of different values. We've now moved that so that gobos are now under gobos and then there's a laser gobo tab. There you get the ability to select your page and pattern. So if I select one of our builders here, I'll go ahead and pick a uh, page. You can see that each of the pages here, and this is for the standard content pack, have a little thumbnail with them. So I can go ahead and pick the lines page. And then on the lines page, I can go ahead and pick like this X right here. If I go ahead and bring our intensity up, you can see that we have that X. One of the really cool things that we can do is if I store this, just in our gobos here, you can see that I get a little thumbnail of the gobo here on our palettes. The next thing we changed is how you access color. So we left the initial profile with the standard color of each of the gobos, because some of the gobos have different colors built in as the default. Uh, we got a lot of feedback that lighting designers prefer to have a overall override with RGB all at full as the default. So that's what we did. Uh, in color effect, we went ahead and just made the default to be overall color. And then from that, if you go to your color menu, you'll see that we have red, green, and blue at full. So now we can just, as though we're, we're selecting our normal palettes, we get quick adjustment of our red, green, and blue. But of course we can still do all of our gradients and bands and all kinds of fun stuff that we had before. The next change that we made is that we got some requests to put the prism mode, not in the Mercury menu, but over in Beam where it can be found for a lot of other fixtures. So in Beam, you'll see that we now have on the Prism tab, all of our different Prism options, but we still have all of our other features here, such as our spacing on the X and Y axes and our internal rotation. Next change we made is that we moved the keystone correction and shaping to shapers from the Mercury menu. So if I come over to shapers, you can see that we have freeform mesh A and freeform mesh B. A is the top and B is the bottom. But this allows us to, using our freeform mesh, do our keystone correction and deformation, including completely mirroring the image over on itself, if we want to do anything which is completely crazy. Or if we just want to use it as we would shaping blades on a moving head. The next change we made applies to wave effects and motion effects under the Mercury menu. We received some feedback that people didn't want to go to wave effect B and motion B in order to access the speed. They wanted the speed on this first set of encoders. So we went ahead and added that along with the wave, making sure that the wavelength and amplitude are both here. So if I go ahead and select just a wave effect for us to look at, and we'll do a wavelength, amplitude, and then you can see that speed control is just right there, quick and easy to grab. It's the exact same thing on the motion effects. So I can go ahead and apply our motion effect. Let's go ahead and pick a triangular orbit. Give it a speed. Give it a little bit of scale on the X and Y axis. All quick and easy to grab. The last thing that we've added is scan rate control. And this is a new feature available to you in the profile. So the default is 100% of the scan rate, but if you need to slow it down a bit, either for a cool flicker effect through the air, or if you're trying to do camera sync, you now have the ability to bring it down to 8% of the available scan rate. So as I bring this down, you can see that we start getting a lot more flicker in here, which can be really neat sort of strobe effect. So that's a quick look at the changes that we've made in the profile based on your feedback. If you have any other feedback for us, or if you have any questions, or if you'd like to get a demo, by all means, please leave us a comment, shoot us an email to support at xlaser.com, and we'll be in touch. Thanks a lot for watching.